Greetings family, this is Bomani Tamba and we're live on Revolutionary Cam. I'm here at Bomani Technology Studios. We're still fixing our sister computer. So we're here for another episode, you know, while we're you know, taking an intermission from uh, this computer that has gone wrong. It's like a ghost in the oh, machine. No, it's going yeah, crazy. Yeah. It's like a combination of uh, a bad keyboard, mouse, motherboard, screen, like all the major components. It's like... <laughs> But anyway, family, but my technology always handed. But we're here to talk about a deep subject with my sister. You know, sister, you know, she says she's an expert on this. You know, celibacy and sexual frustration. <laughs> How do you handle those things? Well, that's a, that's a really tough question. Um, well, first of all, shout out to Jill Scott. I think she has a best song about celibacy that was ever made. It's called Celibacy Blues. Have you heard it? No, people actually make songs with that. Yes, it's really good. Wow. Because when you grown and ain't nobody finna whoop your ass like me or Jill Scott, you don't, you 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 just grown and you don't mind being honest and authentic and living in your truth. So for me, I'm in my truth. I'm celibate, and I'm really happy about that. Um, when I got married the first time, I've been divorced now for ten years. But when I got married, I gave my husband my husband something really special. I had not been with a lot of people, wow. and so um, I thought you were about to say nobody. <laughs> well. <laughs> I had sexual experiences, but not really sex. So for me, that was huge because it was a lot of being a hoe was a, a big time industry back in the night. Wow, so you felt like and a reborn so, virgin. Yeah, I mean, and so <laughs> now that I've, I've been divorced for ten years, when I do get married again, which will be soon, I'm in the in the process of choosing people now. I'll decide who I want to be with, but I'll be giving him something special too because he will know that I haven't been with a lot of people, and so that that means everything to me. And so we will we'll have a lot of time to really discover sexuality again. You know, he and I, when we um, get married or just, you know, decide to be partners or whatever we want to do. And so that's special to me. But one way that I do handle being celibate is, um, it's probably not really popular, but exercise. When you exercise, physiologically what's, what's happening in your body is the same thing that happens physiologically when you have an orgasm which is you release um, some of the same oxytocin and all of those other chemicals that you produce when you have an orgasm, which is also oxytocin, the same um, chemical that's released in your body when you eat chocolate or whenever you do something that you really love, it's the same thing. So what you have to do in order to really not try to be super deep about it, but just to really make sure that your body gets what it actually scientifically needs is to create that chemistry in your own body with different things that you know that you can create and when people don't do that everybody knows because you everybody have that one chick at work or at church or whatever and you just like shit just really needs to get some oh my god lady please get a get a man or whatever but that's what it is you gotta you gotta create that situation where you really are are um you keep the the chemicals in your body flowing because once you do introduce sex to your body those chem it still needs those chemicals it's going to crave those chemicals but you just have to give it to your body in the right way and for me i'm not willing to be with just anybody you know he has to be somebody that is clean i don't want to risk getting herpes or getting whatever that you know people have because they're in and out of everybody's bed i don't want that i don't want fleas either i don't want lice you know i keep my hair my body my whole self clean and that's important to me and I don't want to um, risk mis mixing my spirit with somebody whose spirit ain't right either. That's important wow, to so me. So not only they got to get uh, SDD and all kind of other uh, D's uh, exam, they got to also be mentally and spiritually right. That's right, because it so ain't nothing worse than so trying to get rid of a demon. Yeah. So it's a holistic aspect of uh, compatibility. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's one of the reasons why I have waited for a while, because a lot of people are not willing to do work on themselves in terms of really just uncovering who am I spiritually what am I doing what do I really need you know in my spirit mm -hmm. and in and, and they'll hook up with anybody and well that's the age you're in now that's and the that, age, age you're in. you get your phone you click on a button and exactly. next thing you know you go somewhere you're having sex with someone it, right but and that's you, not what I want and, and you don't know uh -uh. and and that's the the, the the age I'm talking about where it's like we're in that microwave age of instant love relationship yep. marriage and just like people don't even know each other next thing you know they uh, they on the phone talking about I love you I want to be with you, you never kissed never touched never met yep. never connected spiritually but uh yeah uh it's uh it's 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 it's, it's incredible what you're talking about this uh but this is uh this yeah. is the downfall of our uh, uh, modern day society when it comes to I a relationship so. is like people like my relationship don't work this relationship don't work 
And it's like, well, you know, it's like when you look at those aspects of what you just mentioned, a lot of times it's just offbeat. Mm -hmm. I'm learning more and more that myself in life. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You got to take some time to be compatible. To get to know yourself right. Make sure you're compatible with that person, especially sexually compatible. That's really a really big deal. And if you don't really take time to know what you like in the beginning, it's hard to tell somebody else how to please you if you don't even know how to please your own self. You know, up. you gotta know what you gotta know what to do. You gotta know your way around your own body, around your own curves, your own hips before you can tell somebody else what to do. That's what's up, family. That is what's up. So that is some tips from an expert. That's and, right. And, and, and balance it out. Uh, you know, I'm being I'm being celibate without being frustrated. That's right. <laughs> so some incredible techniques. That's yeah. right. Now let's talk about when you you know when you get to the evolution where you know where you get past that stage. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. Yeah. Then a cold shower is your friend. That's all I can say. <laughs> a cold shower is your friend. If you can't exercise it out, you better just take a shower and go to bed. That's all I can tell you. Don't get out there just trying to be all you know wild and. End up like Usher, just gotta sell your stuff and move out of the country. Don't do that. <laughs> that ain't what it do. Now you wanna Wow Conduct yeah. yourself decently and in order. Okay? That's what's up. Now we wanna be movement minded, but we don't wanna be no monkeys and we don't wanna be fools now. Yeah, that's serious business. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of uh a lot of drama going on and uh as I get ready for Magana journey of a lifetime, looking to for you to be on that journey with us in May, and it's a lot of warriors gonna be waiting to put their bid, and some might be going on challenges for you, for, for your hand in marriage. I'm waiting for a challenge now. I'm down for the challenge. Yeah. Let them fight over each. They can fight over me. I'm worth it. That's what's up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready for it. I'm here. I'm here for the whole nine. So that's what's up. Uh, and then the brothers are waiting for you. They are waiting for you. Serious business. So, so what you gonna do? You, 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 you gonna, you, you gonna, you, you, you gonna, you're, you're ready. You ready, ready to get ready. settled in Ghana. Ready to, to build a future with your, 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 your warrior. Yeah, I'm going on a repatriation tour for a reason. You know, to my, link up with like-minded right. people. Link up with like-minded people. And my ancestors, up? I already know for sure, are from Ghana. My middle name is Akosa. It's a traditional Ghanaian name. That's where. That's my. That's my people. So you're, I'm so proud perfect. of that. You already got your future plan. Now you already pick your husband and everything. No, but he's gonna be fine, and he will not be broke. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and size does matter. That's I'm too old to compromise on certain things. He gotta have some money, and he gotta know how to lay it down. And just if you Yo, if you see God. me with somebody, just know that daddy is making it do what it do. Yo, my you. Otherwise, I'm not. I'm not down for that. Mm -mm. Some things you just can't compromise on. That's one of them. Yo, she said you have to be long and the pockets gotta be strong. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yo, for real. That's yeah. So what? So what are you gonna do to this wonderful person? Yeah. What are you gonna do for them to to to, to you know to devote themselves for a lifetime of love and revolution? I don't know. We'll, we'll start with um, mental, and spiritual, and emotional intimacy first. And once uh, once we make love in those places, then the, the physical will be easy. So some, she gotta, see, yeah. This, this has got it mapped out, man. <laughs> it got it mapped out. That's right, because you don't want somebody without a plan. See, you got to have yeah, a plan. Yeah, you got plan. to have a plan. I got a plan. So, so you, 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 I'm you, ready. So you're going to so you're gonna try down this road. It's going to take five to ten years. <laughs> it's not going to take that long. I'm choosing somebody in the next couple months. So, by my birthday, before the first repatriation tour in November, November 16th, so before that, but my birthday is October 24th. I accept gifts and flowers and uh so, fella, so, so, fellas, you gotta, you gotta drop that email address them because she, you know, she like, y'all gotta earn the number. <laughs> That's right, you gotta earn the number. So, where, where do they send a resume application and a clean belt bill of help? <laughs> right. Show, show no STDs and none of those things. A doctor's note. See your doctor's note. Latroya.bishop at gmail.com. Yo, that's what's up. Live on Revolutionary Camp, family. You know, you didn't know we would take it there, but this is after dark. <laughs> the, 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 the conversation that, you know, your children should be listening to. Uh, celibacy and sexual frustration. Wow. 
That that's something when it, when I hear about those things, it sounds like something that you about to explode in. <laughs> you can be without sex, but frustration is a choice. Even if whether it's money, whether it's sex, you can you can not have enough money and still not be frustrated. It takes a woman to say you can be without sex. <laughs> <laughs> You can have, you can not have sex and still not be, you don't have to be frustrated. That's a choice. You can still be happy. You just gotta have a plan. Yeah. I guess we think different. Though. That's like, <laughs> <laughs> that's like, you know, that's like, that's like getting to the point where the anger boil up and next you know you explode, you know, you lose your mind. Yeah. Next you know you go postal, you know what I'm saying? You gotta release some tension like that <laughs> SWB album, you know what I mean? Release some of that energy, you know? Yeah. I guess so. Yeah, that's it. Women are women are different. Oh, absolutely. So that's why sometimes you have you have that that, that conflict because you know men are thinking to the left, women are thinking to the right, and somehow this the connection sometimes is this. That's <laughs> very true. Unfortunately, that. But yeah, so my sister, the expert. Uh, any other relationship advice you have to give for men and women out there that are on the path? To preserving themselves to be a reborn virgin to go to a year of five to ten years of celibacy to wait for that perfect mate what is the five to ten year thing <laughs> i don't know about this all i'll say is just um make sure you love yourself first know yourself and then love yourself and then um you know let love come to you and it'll happen that is what's up and my inbox is already full that is what's so. up See, you know, see, see, women have it made. They can just like, uh, they can just like select, and it's like, all right. That's very true. Yeah. You know? Guys gotta be in there just fighting to get their bit. They, <laughs> they gotta like ch challenge other men to like duels and like, you know, <laughs> so they can just even get in, in in the bed. You know, like all these guys are gonna be challenging to fight for you when you get to Ghana. But don't worry, I got you. I got your back though. I'll, I'll make sure they don't slaughter each other. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, family, this is Bomani Taimba. And my wonderful sister Troya and we're here at Bomani Technology and you see the culture of Africa. You know, Ghana, the place to be the red, black, green and gold. The one Africa, one spirit. Blessings and love to the ancestors. That's we're gonna right. keep it strong. Stop running around there and chasing all these chicken heads and find <laughs> you a suitable mate so the nation building process can continue and you know we're going on a path in the future of our life where we need we need men to be men and not little boys and women to be women and not little girls and so on family you now we keep the trinity strong that's true black man black woman and child yes my sister so revolutionary that's right